he said everything that was of the period of ignorance i am putting it under my feet it no longer is valid what does that mean all the ignorance the way they treated women what they did all the cultural things that were so taboo and so silly he says under my feet thrown racism was part of jahiliya thrown all of this thrown it is finished no more let's ask ourselves racism tribalism nepotism wow nepotism is isn't that alive and healthy in some communities in many communities astaghfirullah if we are believers here is the messenger on the day of arafa saying watch out no racism all the jahiliya kick it out don't maltreat women jahiliya kick it out so don't think you're superior jahiliya kick it out learn to respect people imagine there were revert muslims on that day who were the revert every single one of them were revert do you know that nowadays the strange thing is we won't even allow our daughters to marry a revert or our sons to marry a revert and we claim we come from the family of the prophet well here is the same prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam telling you racism is out tribalism is out nepotism is out all these isms are out totally completely kick them out it's jahiliya usurping the wealth of another insulting false accusation all out subhanallah may allah grant us goodness superstition all of that is gone out don't engage in magic don't think all that was part of jahiliya so it's right for us to mention it here today kicked out then he spared a moment to talk about women what did he say he said ittaqullaha fi nisa fear allah regarding your treatment of women when did he say this the day of arafa i i remember speaking to a sister not long ago and she told me when i read what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said about the day of arafa i would have called it women's rights day subhanallah because he made it clear saying fear allah regarding treated the treatment of women who are the women your daughters watch out watch out don't be unfair your sisters be careful the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warns you about it who else primarily your spouses they've given up their families to come to you how do you treat them subhanallah what do you how do you talk to them how do you make them feel ittaqullaha fi nisa fear allah regarding the women and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly tells us this in the surah known as surah an-nisa allah tells us to fear allah and to fear the wombs that gave birth to the women in, in the nutshell so he says he goes on he gives a little bit more detail do you know what he says he says you married the women using the name of allah so fear allah how you treat them oh whoa, whoa. here he's speaking to the married men watch out those women you used the name of allah you used the name of allah to take them to marry them treat them well and that's why the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says the best from amongst you are those who are best to their wives this is the day where the women were empowered by islam subhanallah they felt so proud of what was being said and i'm sure they will be to this day extremely proud this is the day of arafa the greatest day of the entire year according to a lot of the scholars the greatest day i told you the nights are different the day subhanallah some say the day of nahr the day of arafa You know, if you look at the freedom from hellfire, it's the day of Arafah. Subhanallah.